G'day guys and welcome to the next installment in my EMB gameplay series. Okay, so today we have loaded up a Silent Horizons EMB and that one is by Lonely Kitson. And I must say, first impressions, um, it looks very nice. Um, it's uh, early morning at the moment, just coming up to 6am, still a few stars out. Um, but yeah, I just uh, got a quick glimpse of what it was like at night time, and um, yeah, um, I like the darkness. It wasn't too dark, but it was dark enough. And I have noticed with this EMB, you can probably see it in the uh, mountains and hills in the distance. Um, it does add sort of a light um, pinky purple I visited tinge. the meteries of Riften once as a lad. Oh, Congratulations, Roggy. Well done, mate. Seen the remnants of the grove? That? Well, that was me. Yes, I have. Me and my sister. Uh, so yeah, you can see that uh, light uh, purple-pink tinge uh, on the mountains. Um, you actually notice it in the load screen uh, when the game first starts up as well. The uh, smoke um, has that same sort of tinge to it. Um, it actually looks quite nice. Um, I certainly don't mind it. Um, we'll probably see the sunrise shortly. Um, and then by the end of the video it should be coming nightfall. So we should get to see a sunset as well and I must remember to go into an interior at some stage also so you guys can uh, see what Silent Horizons looks like inside. So um, my current setup is um, I've got the Skyrim 3D Trees and Plants um, installed again and I'm not using Dindu Lod for any of the tree lods. Um, I also have the Fantasy Forest Overhaul mod installed for Skyrim 3D Trees and Plants and I'm actually just using the LODs that come shipped with those mods. Um, I am using Dindu LOD, but that's only for all the um, sort of static LOD, uh, LOD and um, object LOD, dynamic LOD, that sort of thing. Um, nothing to do with trees whatsoever. So I did actually get a little bit of performance back, which was handy because um, this is getting pretty heavily modded now, I'm well over 300 mods so I've got to start to be a little bit careful about what I install. And I've also been very busy with this outfit. Um, my god, <laughs> I've spent hours and hours on this thing. Uh, this is the ESO Ultima Armor and a new mod came out with the same name uh, for CBBE Body Slide which means it came shipped with the body slide files uh, which gave me an idea um, I thought you know I'll load it up um, change it a little bit because I've actually deleted a few items from the armor uh, just um, yeah it's my preference um, I think it looks um, better how it is right now and I actually managed to add physics to it uh, it took me freaking ages but Anyway, I got there eventually, so you can see we've got a little bit of bounce happening. Uh, not too much, I've tried to keep everything realistic, as you know. Um, the poor old butt goes a little bit crazy there, but um, yeah. Um, that's as close as I can get it. So yeah, I was really proud of myself, <laughs> it took so long, but anyway. Um, what I'm actually thinking of doing is um, going through it a few more times and hopefully streamlining it for myself so it doesn't take so long. And then um, once I understand body slide and outfit studio maybe a little bit better than I do at the moment um, I'm thinking about making a, um, a guide which will sort of guide you through the whole process of adding physics to an armor that um, doesn't currently have it um, I can only do it with um, armors that come with body slide files I'm not sure how you would do it without those so obviously I wouldn't be able to do it to any armor um, but anything that's on the Nexus with body slide files, um, I should be able to do. So yeah, if you guys are interested in a video like that, um, adding physics to one of your favourite armors maybe that doesn't have physics, uh, let me know. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm really considering doing something like that. Anyway. Oh, there goes a fox. That is a neat trick. I should have a shot, really. Too late. Oh. That's interesting. I got the um, Q 
kill move camera but then I hit the tree maybe I was gonna hit the fox who knows oh come on guys I just want to get past I really don't want to kill you that's the way ah don't don't think about it no oh, he's thinking about it alright okay let's just run Oh uh, yeah, so back to the EMB, uh, Silent Horizons. Um, yeah, so far I'm really liking it. Um, it's uh, nice and bright during the daytime when the sun's out. Um, you can see we've got a quite colourful sky at the moment. It's um, 7.39 in the morning, so sunrise shortly. Um, but yeah, I like the colours. I like the pink just around the horizon there, behind the mountains. I've uh, got a beautiful blue sky. And I can't wait to see the sunset, to be honest, as well. And obviously, also when the uh, sun's just coming up, will be good. Uh, so you're probably wondering where we're going. Um, I'm not wandering around aimlessly again. So we were at uh, Kynes Grove. I'm sure you guys picked that. Uh, we did just kill our first, or well, actually second, dragon. And we've now been tasked with um, heading back to Delphine in Riverwood. So I thought that would be a nice trip to um, check out the countryside and um, also check out the EMB. And we do actually have to return the horn of Jürgen Windcaller to um, Unger. Uh, up on the mountain. So I thought we could possibly try and do that on the way to Riverwood. So that's the plan anyway. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? Oh dude, just let it go. Let it go. My god. Uh, so we can see the um, depth of field in the distance there. Really nice blur. And it just comes back slowly into focus, which I really like. It doesn't sort of just stay blurry and then just snap into focus immediately. It's a nice little transition there, I like that. And it's not too much blur either, which um, I also like. So yeah, big thumbs up for Silent Horizons so far. And I've also found it quite performance friendly. Um, I think I'm dropping... Whoa, hang on a sec. What the hell was that? Oh, sun's up. Yeah, that's really nice. It's not overdone. God damn. It really does sound like someone's throwing sticks of dynamite around. Um, yeah, it does feel like I've got um, a little bit of performance back. Um, it's not as performance heavy, uh, I've noticed, as the last few EMBs I've been running. And I'm keeping uh, Cathedral Weathers installed at the moment, so this is obviously the preset for Cathedral Weathers and Seasons. So the last few have um, made me drop around 25 uh, frames. Um, this one's probably closer to somewhere between 15 and 20. So yeah, I'm finding it um, a little performance friendly, which is always a positive. Um, hmm. We were planning on going up the mountain. Um, we're not going the best way about that, I don't think. Um, actually, yeah, we are. So we'll just keep going and then take a right, head up there, into, um, Iverstead, and up the mountain. Okay, it's all good. We'll just go back the way we came. Yeah, sorry, I was heading the wrong way. <laughs> if you know any true sons and daughters... No, I don't know any, sorry. Tell them to head to wind hell. Oh, shh. Shivers. I'm about to just go. Just 
just walk straight past him. Damn. He certainly looks angry. Ah. Okay, I'll do something. Hey, they asked me to, so... Ooh, that shot was a bit low. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, that's much better. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, that last one dropped him. That was lucky. I don't know if you just saw that ice shard, but it was huge. Um, man, those things are really annoying me. I've tried a mod that's supposed to make them smaller. Um, it didn't make them smaller. So I uninstalled that. And then I did a bit of trickery. And just... Um, put in a file that I found from a normal Skyrim from a mod that also makes the ice shard smaller. Um, but that didn't work either, so... I'm still looking for a way to make my ice shards smaller. Oop. Whoa. Yeah, after you. Oh, sh shiite. Oh my god, what am I stuck on? Yeah, probably shoot an arrow any time now would be good. Yeah, take that, buddy. I don't even see that guy, there's so much fire around. Oh, somebody's shooting arrows at me. I see ya. God, I'm almost dead. Let's just quickly... Take a potion. Oh, what on talk? I think she finished off the rest. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look at the size of these ice shards. That's ridiculous. I just want to make them really small. But, um... For some reason, I'm having a lot of trouble with that. I might have to investigate the um, mod that I used just before. Um, it is for Skyrim SE. And I'll uh, try and work out why it um, didn't work. So the um, tree lords that come with um, Skyrim 3D Trees and Plants and uh, Fantasy Forest Overhaul for that mod um, are really top notch. I mean, they're only 2D billboards, but I actually think um, they look a little bit better than when you uh, create like the standard 2D billboard lods with Dindu Lod. Because I have tried both. Whereas you might remember last video, um, I was in uh, Cyrodiil and wandering around Bruma and I had to create the um, tree lodge with Dindu Lodge for that area simply because yeah, without it you'd have vanilla tree lodge which would look terrible with these trees. Really bad transitions. Well, I can't get over the weather. It is Bloody beautiful. Perfect day for a stroll. Oh wow. I so want to climb out on that tree. I'm liking the colours too. With Silent Horizons AMB. Um, I mean, there's quite a lot of it. The colours are definitely turned right up, but um, I actually like that. Yeah, it looks good. And I probably shouldn't climb out on that tree, because you know what will happen. I'll fall. And die. Uh, oh, to hell with it. I'll just do a save. Beforehand. Uh, like right now, because I'm going to jump down there and hopefully not die I think I can reach the water I'll do the double jump just in case yeah I would have died oh there it is right here 
need the double jump just to get up there. Yeah, sorry, Toc, you're going to have to wait. I'm a little bit busy and you definitely can't come up here. I'll turn around now and she'll be right behind me. Oh! Okay, looks like I can't take that egg. Wow, nice view. And yeah, we are pretty high up. Where is Toc? Oh yeah, there she is. She didn't even try to follow us. She's learning. Yeah, cool. Alright, that was fun. Waste a little bit of time there. Can we get around there? Ugh, that's a bit steep. Probably gonna end up miles away. And back on track, literally. Just really love this uh, mossy, grassy texture. I can't quite remember which mod it's from, but um, yeah, it's one of my favourites. I just love it. Well, I must say the track's a little overgrown here. Are we even on the track? I have no idea. Yes, we are. Sorry, I'm getting carried away checking out all my textures. I actually haven't walked around this area for a very long time, so... I actually find I do this more than um, just sitting back and playing the game and just wandering around looking at textures and looking at stuff I've installed and it's crazy. Oh, what's that? A goat. Hey, what was that? Is that the goat? Oh shit no. That's no goat. I see you in there. Yeah, take that. Oh, I knew you weren't going to let us pass, so... Had no choice. I was forced into it. Old Saber Cat, eh? Guess you get to keep my arrow. Actually, um, you'll notice too, Crystal has had a little bit of a makeover. Um, she just changed her hair. Got a bit of a colour put through, <laughs> strawberry blonde type thing, and went a little bit crazy with the makeup, I must say. But, um, yeah, whatever takes you fancy, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing you met the Saber Cat. Saber cat of the tooth variety. Don't remember I've seen those trees before. With the big leaves. I don't mind them. Mainly because they're different. <laughs> it's nice just to have change in this game. after we've all been playing it as long as we have. 
actually think that's why I'm a little addicted to modding it. Is uh, being able to change it up. This is another one of my favourite textures. Those rocks look insane. It's just like a photograph. Apart from the line between the two textures there. And I've had a few of you ask um, what mountain slash rock mod I'm using in a previous video, so I'll just mention it now in case any of you are wondering. It's um, Red Rocks 4K. Um, there is actually a grey version. So obviously this is the grey version because the rocks aren't red. Um, well, I do like the red version as well. It changes up the whole game, gives it a whole new feel. Um, but yeah, I've played with it for quite a while. So I thought I'd try out the grey version and um, yeah, I'm really happy with them. They look really nice. And I've had them for quite a while. Uh, installed for quite a while now. I do believe I darkened the textures. There's not that many of them. Um, just a little bit. Because I think they were a lot lighter. A lot closer to vanilla. So yeah, I just darkened them up slightly. And it looks like we've got one of my house mods here. I think I mentioned to you guys couple of videos ago that um, I just installed oh shivers a whole lot of um, house mods covering covering um, most of the map yeah nice work talk is that noise really necessary I mean Jesus oh yeah you're coming for us now I am really if you stop and go the other way I will not kill you. Oh, he's thinking about it. Okay, cool. You get to live, buddy. It's the first time any of them have actually listened to me. Oh, love that hay. Okay, um, yeah, I've got to check this house out while I'm here. First time I've laid eyes on it. So, I, sorry, I couldn't tell you what mod it is. Damn, that troll is just going to let us be for now. I actually need to work on improving my armor and weapons as well. But I'm pretty sure I don't have the right things for that just at the moment. Oh wow, this is really pretty. Nice view too. Wow, oh, okay, I've got a couple of trees we need to sort out there. Uh, I won't do it now, but um, yeah, every now and then you'll find some trees a little out of whack, as you can see there, hovering meters off the ground. Uh, you basically just go into the console, click on them, uh, type disable, um, and then if the tree actually does disappear, you can then type um, mark for delete. But if it doesn't disappear, you've clicked on something else, and you need to type enable. So whatever it was you did click on will come back. Buddy, you were doing so well. Yes, you were. Oh, come on. You could... No, that's it. We gave him every chance. Every chance. Okay, that's the mod. Wind path. And it looks like we can go straight in. You know how sometimes you have to search around for a key or maybe even do a little mini quest? Not so with wind path. Oh wow, this is really pretty. Speaking of keys, let's just do a save in here. Okay, I won't waste too much time. We'll just um, have a quick look around. So it's pretty bright in here, but um, we've got a bit of lighting and it's also daytime, so there'd be um, daylight streaming in through the window. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with that. It'll be interesting to go into one of the inns, um, say at night time, or a dungeon even. Oh, hello. Damn, those things creep me out, especially when they move. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice. I like it. Talk. did you close the door on me? 
All right, we'll push on. Oh, hang on. Can we go up there? Nope. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to wake up to a view like that, have a look at some wind path. I'll definitely be back. What do we have here? Take one of my arrows back, thank you. Okay, it's uh, 10 to 2 in the afternoon. I have a... oops, sneaking suspicion I just left the path. Um, I also have a sneaking suspicion we're not going to make it to Riverwood today. Ooh, this guy's got a note. Let's just quickly check that out, shall we? Captain, there have been multiple complaints about attacks near the river, northwest of the rift. We could use some more civilian support from that area for the war effort, so send a few men to investigate. It's probably just a couple of wolves, so you'll only need to send at most two men. Happy hunting. Okay, let's push on. Oh, it's always risky doing that. <laughs> it's so hard to keep on the path when you can't see it and you don't know well, where it's going. Okay, that bear's causing all sorts of trouble, ripping into all the wildlife. That's what you get, buddy. Ah, we've got EMB rain on. Oh shit, there's quick escape. Oh yeah, I uh, didn't quite mean to go that far, I was hoping to land on the damn rock. Sorry Tark, you right up there? Yeah, should be fine. As for me, not so sure. Okay, that, um, that was really poor on my part. <laughs> I just didn't think I was going to get an arrow off in time. So we went the old jump. Nice work, Talk. Nice work. You obviously had a lot longer than I did lagging behind. Dino Phyllis. You're nasty. Okay, so we're just going to turn off um, the EMB rain because I don't like it. And that's nothing against Silent Horizons. Um, you find pretty much all EMBs have um, EMB rain with them now. All you have to do is go into the rain section and just unclick the enable. And don't forget to click save configuration before you exit out. Otherwise, next time you'll have EMB rain again. So yeah, that's... Um, looking quite a bit better. Alright, let's push on to the uh, graybeards and drop off this horn. So 
So yeah, I'm really liking the lighting um, in this weather as well. So another big thumbs up for Silent Horizons. Um, just really impressed with this AMB. I'm really liking it. Um, I would actually consider leaving it installed um, and just playing with it for sure. Um, I haven't quite decided which one I'm going to try out next, but I do have some ideas. Um, and what I do want to try and do is pick something that's a little out of the ordinary, something a little striking, something I wouldn't normally even consider looking at. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I have a feeling um, whichever one I do choose, it's going to change up the game quite a bit. He's definitely not warming his hands. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Okay, thanks. And I'll probably just um, skip ahead through this section because I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times and played it a million times. And not that exciting. Dropped him. I thought he was an ice troll for a second there. <laughs> mature. Oh, he is. <laughs> mature ice troll. Well, there you go. Cool. Actually, let's just check out this view. And then we'll um, skip ahead to the Greybeards. Whoa. Did I just about go off the edge? Yep. Yeah, looking looking pretty good. Pretty happy with that. All right, I'll see you guys shortly at the Greybeards. All right, almost there. Do like those trees. It's usually um pretty bare up here. Ah, oh, we won't check the chests. That would be stealing. Okay, this is going to give us a nice look um, inside at uh, Silent Horizons. Just check our um, skin tones as well while we're in here. Yeah, really nice. I like that. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Um, I'm really impressed. I'm really liking this AMB. the horn of Jorgen Runko. Sure have. Well done. Thank you. You have now passed all the trial. Oh, goody. Come with me. Okay. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bumped into him there. I was a little eager. You are 
are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Oh, yeah, bring it on. Which means push. Let me have it. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now gift you with his knowledge of Da. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Okay. Alright, that's got that out of the way. Uh, what is it? Quarter past six. Ooh. I guess we'll um, make a push for Riverwood. And some of that's going to be in the dark, no doubt. But at least we get to check out the uh, brightness when it does get uh, nightfall. We'll get to nightfall. Hey, Emfrey, following me around. Wow. Really loving that picture. If I could just get clear of this wind effect, uh, I might try for a screenshot. I might make a good thumbnail. Okay, let's push on. I think uh, Dakota's getting a little tired. She's lagging behind. Cute. And I just had a thought. We can just drop straight down off this mountain. Hopefully not dying. Uh, straight into Riverwood. Poor old Tok will probably have to go the long way. But um, I'm sure she'll catch up. So you can see um, some of the colours just starting to come through now with the sunset. Sort of a pinky purple colour. Which is really nice. Something a little different. 
Uh, wow, this is getting quite steep. Why can we have our... Ow! Double jump. Didn't think I was going to need it there. Definitely too steep for Takata. And I never liked the running animations going downhill. They always look so bad. So we'll just stay in first person for a while. Hmm. I'm thinking about doing a huge leap off here. Uh, which side do we want to go? Uh oh, we're going. I hope I can jump. No, I can't. It's too steep. Yeah, I think this is going to hurt. Nope. There we go. Alright, that was um, quite a quick way into Riverwood, really. And a pretty quick way off the mountain. Oh wow, we've got the Aurora going off. It's quite bright, actually. But that's okay. I don't mind that. Hmm, everything seems pretty quiet in Riverwood. Ooh, the reflection in the water looks nice from the Aurora. Really like that. And I'm just going to skip ahead a few hours because I just want to see how dark it gets. So it's 8.20 now. We'll go three hours. Oh, wow. I like it. I like that a lot, actually. It's really nice. See, the lights aren't too bright. And they're not that really deep orange Being safe, I hope. slash yellow colour, which I really don't like. It just feels really unnatural for me. Uh, they're quite, it's quite a yellow light, um, but still has that warmth to it, so I really like that. And yeah, it's not overdone, it's not too bright, it's not too dark. And the brightness of the night itself is pretty much perfect for me, this is what I really like. Um, you can still see enough to actually play at night outside if you want but it just is a little bit harder to see everything which it should be obviously um, yeah I really like it and the old uh, Aurora is probably throwing quite a bit of light as well so it would possibly be uh, a little bit darker with like a cloudy night which would be quite eerie and yeah really cool Yeah, I'm really impressed with this scene, but I'm loving it, actually. Alright, so we'll just go into the, um... 
sleeping giant here. And check out the interior there at this hour. It means so You're much to us to have the clock. I don't think you will follow. Come on, I have a plan. Oh my god, bombarded with requests and questions and statements. Oh yeah, spark it up, buddy. Go. No? Yes. Oh, it's not going to play anything. Okay, um, it's quite bright yes. for night. I'm used to it being a little bit darker inside at night in particular. Um, probably this sort of brightness I'd prefer maybe during the day inside. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice though. Um, not going to lie. But I'll probably look at just um, darkening, darkening up we got um, rooms interiors at night too. just a little bit. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Mm, good for you. And the skin tones have looked really nice um, in all, cook, all conditions. Lass. Which is pretty important, Need I think. Alright guys, um, I think we've had a pretty good look at Silent Horizons. And yeah, really nice. I'm um, really impressed with it. I love it. So, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, hope it helped you out a bit. Did you need something? Click on the like if you did like the video, uh, dislike if you didn't, and um, please subscribe if you haven't already for more yes. content just like this. Uh, really appreciate your support, guys. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Yes. Cheers.